Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my August favorites. I cannot believe it's already September. I'm feeling fall. I already got like a sweater on. It's actually kind of chilly out today, so I already decorated for fall and everything. I'm just ready. Anyways guys, if you want to hear all about my August beauty favorites, then just keep on watching. Jumping right in, I don't actually have too too many favorites. I have a few, but quite a few of them I think have been featured before. So those ones I'll spend less time on, and then I have two that I just started using about a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago, that I just want to quickly shout out because they are seriously becoming favorites quick. They're coming in hot. So let's just jump in. We'll start with the face products. I recently picked up one of these. Uh, this is not my first time purchasing this product. It's been a long time favorite for me. It's actually my favorite BB cream. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for oily skin. I take the shade light medium. I'm actually wearing it right now. As you can see, it gives a very good amount of coverage. Um, I love this for every day. It lasts a great amount of time on the skin. It doesn't cake up at all. It's one of those things that it gives a good amount of coverage so that you feel like your blemishes or discoloration are covered up but then you still feel like you can see your skin through it so for example my freckles will show through this and I like that especially for an everyday situation so love this I picked this up it was on sale for $6.99 so I knew I was like I need it um, this is the new packaging for it as well I really like it you can see like the shade through it and then it's just really clean and sleek Next is a foundation. This I've been wearing pretty much every weekend, really. Um, and anytime I've been going out, I've been gravitating towards this. I really like it. It's a natural, beautiful finish. This is the Benefit Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. I've been using the shade 5, and I really like it. It definitely gives a medium coverage, and it's a very natural kind of satin finish to it. So it's very nice. Um, I have worn this to the office, and it did help hold up pretty well. I had to kind of blot a little bit by about one o'clock after lunch but other than that it really did last pretty well at the office otherwise I do really like this for nightwear if I'm going out for dinner or I just want a little bit more coverage I've been filming a lot with it as well so definitely loving the way that this applies sits on the face the coverage it's a really really pretty foundation um, and the packaging is so adorable I do have a full review on that foundation so I'll link it here so you guys can check it out if you are interested in finding out a little bit more about it <sighs> these guys I've talked about so much on my channel on my Instagram I feel like I've talked about them everywhere I'm really really obsessed like these are by far my new favorite absolute favorite drugstore just concealer in general to be honest this is the L'Oreal infallible full wear concealer I've been using the shades 365 cashew and 360 cashmere 360 cashmere is just a little bit too light on its own um 365 cashew yes cashew I wear this on like today for example I'm only wearing this one the only time I put a dot of cashmere the lighter shade is when I'm trying to highlight a little bit more so if I'm going out or I'm just doing like a more full face makeup look then I'll combine them but really for everyday purposes I've just been using the 365 cashew and I've been fine like today for example it's all I'm wearing this is a full coverage full coverage concealer it really covers it all like I'm not kidding it's amazing so I've been loving it um, it works really well for dark circles under the eyes discoloration around the nose blemishes pretty much all over your face like it doesn't matter where it is this is going to cover it up and it really is going to stay covered that's one thing I like about it even though it is a full coverage foundation, it's not heavy whatsoever, still very lightweight, easy to blend out. I use my beauty blender or a brush, both blend it out beautifully. I have no problems with it creasing at all. It's just, I can't say enough good things about it. I do, again, have a full review on this guy, and I'm telling you, this is a serious dupe for the Shape Tape by Tarte. It's amazing. I've seen it now, um, the full collection at a bunch of the drugstores in my area, so definitely is available fully in Canada, and I'm sure the states have it as well. Now, moving on to eyes, I just wanted to talk about this guy here. This, I've talked about it so much, so I'm just going to very briefly just update you guys that this is really the only mascara I've really been liking lately. It's the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I haven't really tried many mascaras this past summer. Nonetheless, I haven't really come across anything wow-worthy for the mascaras except for this guy. It's been a favorite for, I would say, three, maybe even four months now. It's really pushing its last legs. It's definitely not 
applying the way that I used to, of course, because it's almost all out. But nonetheless, it, it, it's still, I had to mention that it's still my favorite mascara of the moment. Next, my lipstick color. This is really the only lipstick I've been wearing, to be honest. This is one of the new Rimmel London lipsticks, the Lasting Finish Extreme Lipstick Collection. I did a full swatch video on all the shades, but this one here really spoke to me. <laughs> it's the shade Blush Touch. It's just perfect for fall. It's nothing too in your face, so it's great for every day. It's kind of like that pinky mauve nude. But the thing that I like about this the most is that it is so comfortable to wear, but it lasts a long time. So it lasts through eating and drinking, but I can move my lips around. It feels really good and it really like wears off nicely too, which is very important to me for a lipstick. If I'm going to choose to wear a lipstick to work, I want it to be one that's going to wear off nicely. So when I'm drinking water or talking in meetings and it's kind of fading away, it's not like really noticeable that something's going on there. So <laughs> I really like this lipstick for that reason. Um, the whole collection's beautiful, but this is just the shade that I'm really gravitated towards. One hair product. I want to quickly mention this guy here from L'Oreal. This is the Stylista Hair Protective Primer. I've really been liking this. I ran out of my Tresemme one, which I pretty much have been using for, I would say, like 10 years. <laughs> it's really the only one that I gravitated towards. Um, but this one here I've been using and I like it a lot. It's just a heat protection for 230 Celsius. Um, you just put a little bit in your hands, working it into your wet or damp hair, and then go ahead and put heat on it, blow dry curl, straighten, whatever it may be. I really like it. I find it helps with the frizz. I find also when I use this that my hair tends to last longer in styles too. So really been liking this guy. The only thing is about this line is that I have not seen it at a drugstore, so I'm not sure what the deal is about that. I'm going to look online and see if I can get a link. If so, it'll be in the description box if you guys are interested in it. One skincare favorite, well, there's a few, but this is the only one that I've been using all month. This is the Pixi Vitamin C Juice Cleanser. So I've been really been liking this. One thing that I like about it the most is the way that it dispenses. So you basically just put a cotton swab right on top, push, push, and you get liquid right onto your cotton swab. So it's very easy. You're kind of using all your products to the best ability. This, I've really just been using it to take off my eye makeup specifically. I haven't really been using it all over the face. I've been really trying to go back to, um, you know, I usually take my makeup off with a makeup wipe and then go into a cleanser. So when I was using micellar water, I tend to, I was tending to skip my cleansing process because this is supposed to cleanse for you. But I was having really, ba really bad breakouts the past couple of months. So I'm trying to be a little bit more rigorous with my skincare. So I've really only been using this kind of as an eye makeup and lip remover. And I've really been liking it. It's very gentle. Um, I love the way it smells. It just makes me feel very fresh. And it also doesn't leave any kind of residue as well on my eyes. It doesn't burn. It's just really nice. I've really been liking it. Now, speaking of cleansers, there's two products that I just reviewed. Uh, I think the video went up a few days ago on my channel here and it was reviewing the Mary Kay Naturally line and there's two products that I brought with me when I was traveling and I've been using them non-stop. So the first one is the cleanser. This is the Mary Kay Naturally Purifying Cleanser. Firstly, not only is it a, just a really great cleanser, it smells amazing. It just smells like clean and that's one of the best scents I find when it comes to cleansers. So I've been loving this. I've been using it every single night and sometimes I was even using it in the morning too. So I was like just obsessed. I couldn't get enough of it. So really liking this guy. And then the second product from the line that I'm really enjoying is the Mary Kay Naturally Nourishing Oil. So I find with this oil, what's really great is it doesn't make me feel oily, if that makes sense. I do have combo to oily skin. So sometimes with oils, when I apply them, I'm like, ugh, I just feel like a grease ball. This does not make me feel that way. It just really sinks into the skin so nicely and I'm able to go ahead with other products afterwards. So I can apply this before makeup and feel totally fine. Whereas a lot of other oils, I wasn't able to do that because I just felt super greasy. So I'm really enjoying this one. I also really like applying this when I'm not wearing any makeup. Sorry, I thought I saw a spider. <laughs> I've also really been enjoying applying this on days where I'm not wearing any makeup at all. I just find that it gives a really pretty glow to my skin, just like kind of like bumps it up a notch, makes it look super healthy. So really been liking those two products from the Mary Kay Naturally line. There's a few others that I'm still kind of testing out, but haven't like, they like these two just really wowed me. So I thought I'd mention them now. Chances are they're going to be in the next favorites. 
little warning. Anyways, guys, that actually wraps up my favorites for August. I'm super excited heading into fall. Fall is definitely my favorite time of year for makeup. I find that a lot of really great makeup products launch in fall and not just that I love makeup looks in fall as well the warm tones berry lips it just warms my heart so nonetheless thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe and of course I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys